You're troubled. I can tell. You know, if you walked among the living, I'd worry you may jump, ending it all. You can't kill yourself unless you take off your ring. I'll wait until the midday sun. I'll throw this and myself into the ocean. So dramatic and eccentric. No one cares about those who fade into the backdrop or plunge into the dark abyss. I have seen countless centuries of pain and sorrow caused by our race. I've seen so many horrific things and it weighs heavily on me. You know, so much dread and regret only makes you weak and vulnerable. I have shown you countless times that we are important to keep the mankind in check. I can't lead that kind of peril existence. We are the order of things. Tonight, we shall gather the others and strike those who have waged war against our race. Tell me, Peter, how is it you are so sure of your existence and of your duty to continue this carnage? You want answers? Okay. It was 1828 in a small village called Verma, where I live. I was a small boy when the Russian army came, but I was a weak and sickly boy. I fled into the woods and hid. I found a cave. My family was slaughtered, and I was left to bear the burden. So you decided to get revenge. When I woke, I had a bite across my neck and a pain I couldn't shake. But I had this newfound power, this new strength, this hunger. It was as if the universe had heard my pain and granted me this gift. Did you ever find your maker? No. So you went after the Russian? Yes. I made them pay dearly. I was a monster inflicting enormous carnage on their ranks for years. Until I grew exhausted. Then I would just visit battlefields to feast. I feel that you see war as just a meal. You don't hear the souls you consume. I only hear the thirst and heartbeat of survival. You know, battlefields are a great place to find artifacts. I remember walking among the wounded and dead and finding something quite unusual. I remember. I've been fatally wounded and I was lying over my best friend. You gave me a second chance. Battle of Somme, 1916. 58,000 British troops were killed that day. You know, I believe when the universe gives you something, you take it. It's a gift. You were dressed as a British soldier. Opposite sides. Nothing else matters. You should have let me die in those trenches. You showed such passion and strength. What gives you the right to interfere with destiny? We're the gray area that nature never intended. We're some abnormality that doesn't live in the day or the light. I couldn't let such courage be lost. You're here for a reason. You serve a purpose. The decision's yours to make. I won't be saving you again. <laughs>